Recent Linux distributions which use the GNOME desktop look remarkably the same when it comes to the process of starting up and shutting down. So we will demonstrate that here by using a VMware hypervisor on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux host and we'll demonstrate three recent distributions and how they boot. So we've already teed them up so here I will start CentOS H stream. Here I will start Ubuntu 20.04 and here I will start OpenSUSE Leap 15.3. So you'll see a little bit different messages on each as they boot uh, according to how Grub is configured and what the possible kernel choices are. It will take longer to boot than they would normally would if I was only doing one at a time simply because uh, the host machine is a little bit overloaded running three virtual machines. It really doesn't have a ton of memory. Uh, in this case, I have allotted three gigabytes of memory to each out of a total of 16 gigabytes on the machine. So it's a little bit memory stressed. Uh, so we'll just wait till they start and reach their greeter screen. But you see, we've already done that on Ubuntu. We've already done that on OpenSUSE Leap, and it's taking somewhat longer on CentOS uh, HStream. So let's log into these guys while we wait for CentOS Stream to get ready. So I'll log in the student password here on the uh, Ubuntu machine. I'll do the same thing on the OpenSUSE machine. And now we're just waiting for the CentOS 8 machine. Finally ready, and then I'll log in there as well. And you notice they have different background pictures just because we have selected different background pictures over time. But they all arrive to pretty much the same appearance with an activities and an applications menu and then uh, Ubuntu still likes to have this uh, sidebar on the left with major applications. Um, I can easily bring that up on the other ones. For instance, if I type activities here, activities on OpenSUSE, I will see the same thing there. And then the process of shutting down is also quite similar. All I need to do is click in the upper right hand corner and I find the power icon. And I just say power off. I'll do the same thing with Ubuntu. I'll get power off, and I'll go power off. And I can do the same thing with OpenSUSE. Power off and power off. And so it's remarkably the same from distribution to distribution these days.